Welcome back, everybody, to Farming Simulator 22. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go ahead and do the other hay contracts and even a cultivating contract. I uh, got to thinking about some more and heard back from a few of you in the comments. And um, you guys, those of you who did comment, thought uh, it would be a good idea for me to continue doing the hay contracts at least. And I, I guess I agree with that because... You know, here's the thing. I mean, the small hay fields are, you know, this all comes out to about $35,000, which is pretty good money. Plus, I get, you know, the extra silage bales from it. Cultivating is something I can just simply put, you know, a worker on with a course play and let them do the whole thing. I don't have to mess with it at all. So, you know, I, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to kind of rethink contracts a little bit and, and do do them, but not necessarily do all of them all of the time. Uh, so we'll we'll do a little bit of a compromise there. So uh, with that being said, uh, let's talk about a couple things. First of all, uh, in the sales there is a sprayer, and uh, this is one of the actually one of the the better sprayers, uh, pull behind sprayers in the base game. I've never really paid much attention to sprayers, but you know as we get more fields and start planting. Uh, you know, replanting crops and stuff like that that aren't just hay fields. You know, weeds will start to become potentially become an issue. This is 66% off. And uh, like I said, this is the Aon 5200 Delta Force. If we look at that in here, it's uh, it's one of the higher end sprayers. It's this one here. Uh, in fact, if we if you look at this, this has a 5200 liters capacity. Uh, and can go up to 33 meters, whereas this this one, which is the same price, it's just a different brand, it only has 4,300 liters. Um, so arguably, you could say this is actually the best sprayer in the base game, pull-behind sprayer, not not self-propelled, but pull-behind sprayer. So I think we're going we're gonna to buy that since it's 66% off. It just seems to make sense to do that. So that being said, that way we'll have it if we need it, and uh, let's do it. Uh, we are going to... Uh, make it the 33 meters so that's going to add another 10 grand but that's still still a pretty good price you know for this for the sprayer and then we'll have it okay so let's buy that and we are now the proud owner of a new pull behind sprayer for when we have to spray herbicide very nice okay this is 22 percent damage so let's grab this and just repair it now so it's in good repair lord only knows where i'm going to park the thing though we are, uh, we are kind of tight on storage space. We will eventually get um, a uh, another shed going at some point. Because we're getting new equipment and we don't have a place to put it all. Okay, now the next thing I wanted to talk about is it has been in my plans all year to purchase Field 9 so that we can harvest the sugar beets off of it so we can get our sugar mill going again replant field nine and then resell it but we have a problem with that and that problem is this i can't just buy field nine i have to buy this whole entire plot for seven hundred twenty seven thousand dollars and change that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing except for that this terrain is really terrible uh, there's a very steep bank right here that goes down to the creek and then this is very hilly uh, terrain up in here plus there is a bunch of elm trees which i really just don't want to go to the trouble of you know of logging elm trees because they're just a pain in the butt if it, you know if these were fir trees or spruce trees or pine trees or whatever that'd be a whole different story but they're not they're a bunch of elm trees and they're just you know you guys already know from watching previous episodes that you don't get very much money for them and they're you know there's lots of branches on them the trunks aren't straight it's just a hassle so because of the rough terrain um, and the steep terrain, it really just isn't worth it for me to, to buy this, in my opinion. Um, unless, unless we purchased it, replanted eight, and then resold it just for the purpose of getting the sugar beets, I suppose we could do that because then, you know, then we're only temporarily out that money. We'd probably have to take a loan, too to do that uh, well we would definitely have to take a loan to do that so i guess i don't know i'll have to think about that some more 
Now this field has, I believe it has canola on it, field eight. So we could harvest both of those fields and then replant them and then resell. Um, we don't have any productions that use canola, but we could just, you know, um, harvest it and sell it. When is canola, uh, 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 the price on canola the best? Let's take a look. In November. Okay. So it's highest in November. Well, that's something to think about then. Maybe I, I, I just hadn't considered when I looked at that earlier before I started the recording, I'm going, no, nah, that ain't going to work. But I, I, you know, I didn't consider the fact that I could buy it and then resell it again. So maybe we will do that after all. And it'll just be a very temporary uh, setback for us. Okay, so let's see here. Let's talk about the contract situation. So here's, there's a bit of a problem with this. And you guys, one of you guys mentioned this to me in the comments, and it was definitely the case. Um, I had, I ended up having to use the clear contracts and then the new contracts and refresh this several times in order to get all of these fields to be silage bales. I did not do that for the purpose of getting silage contracts because silage contracts pay more and the silage is more valuable that you get for the bonus. That is not the reason why I did that. The reason why I did it is because when these are hay contracts, they wanted to deliver the hay to my fermenting silos. Uh, and again, you guys had mentioned that uh, in the, when you guys mentioned in the comments that that would happen. And, you know, as you know, if you've been watching all along, I have had, haven't had very good luck doing contracts that sell to my own um, productions. It just, it just doesn't seem to work out. And so, um, I'm not going to do it because it's just too much of a pain in the butt and it always seems to break and something always seems to go wrong. And then I have to, you know, spawn in extra product and get confused about the math and all that. <laughs> so the only way that's really going to work for me is to make sure that all those are silage and, and I can make them all silage, but I just have to kind of game the system a little bit by refreshing them. So, you know, that's, that's the deal. I, I'm not going to be doing hay contracts that want to deliver the hay to my own production because that just doesn't work. So the only way that is going to work for me is to keep refreshing them until I can get them all to be silage contracts or even hay contracts that deliver to, you know, like the animal dealer or Johnson's or something like that. Uh, but when I was looking at them, they were like all wanting to go to my, um, my fermenting silos. So Anyway, that's the deal with that. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, I also went ahead, uh, whoops, I also went ahead, like I said, and what in the world's going on? I keep hitting the wrong button here. And um, took that cultivating contract. So we're going to take the Fint and put it on the big cultivator and just turn, turn that loose, turn him loose and let him do it. And... We will, you know, we'll have to pay pay the worker, but we'll reap the benefit of a twelve thousand dollar contract. And you know, the worker's wages on that when it's all said and done, I, I can't imagine will be more than two thousand. So we'll basically profit ten thousand uh, bucks. So let's get that started first. Um, let me look at the field again on that. It is field seventy. Wait, right? Yeah, 70. Okay. So that is going to be over... Where is 70? Oh, 70 is this... Yeah, this weird irregular shape field. Gotcha. Okay. So let's get uh, him over there and get him started. And we're just going to turn him loose and let him do his thing. And we will use course play because course play is more accurate than, you know, than just the base game AI. Okay, so let's um, let's just do the usual that seems to work really well, meaning that we're going to just do spirals uh, with a bunch of headlands. This is a very large field, so but we also have a very large cultivator, so let's just see what uh, 10 headlands will do. That looks pretty good to me. Okay. Uh, so close this, start the job. We'll let him do his thing. Fantastic. All right, so let's get set up to do our, uh, the small hay fields. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to send the big M up there first. All right, and then we'll just stage him right at the start of field 18, which is what I typically do. And we're going to also, we're going to connect the New Holland to the Baylor. Let's also move our, our sprayer out of the way. I'm not, like I said, I'm not exactly sure where we're going to put this thing. Um, we could, uh, I've been parking the, the Mac or not the Mac, the man truck in the barn. So maybe we, we could put this where we normally park the man truck. Let's put it right in here. At least for now. That looks good. Okay. Let's hook up the V-Rig, because we're going to want that, of course. My roller's got all kind of screwed up there for somehow. I'm not ex exactly sure how that even happened. Whoop. And we want to connect to the Pottinger, because this is silage contracts. Excellent. Okay, let's just leave him here because I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to drive this guy up to um to the field because with the V rake on the AI can't drive it. So we're gonna connect the pickup trailer to the McCormick. All right, let's send the McCormick up to the to the fields. Uh, we'll just have a park there in that open spot for now. And we will grab the New Holland and the Baylor and head on up there. All righty, so let's park you here. And we'll get that thing unfolded. Now I'm going to I'm going to set up a course play course for this just because I need something for the baler to follow. Um, but before we do, we're going to we're going to mow the margin uh, hay, get a, you know, pull a little bit of the margin hay in and also probably X the fields. Okay, so let's get that done first. Let's go into here and I actually want to go into here. This is field 18. Let's delete uh, the earlier entry and we want to delete the one for, uh, for here too. 
because we're going to create new ones uh, in the, the spiral fashion that seems to be working really good for us. Okay, so let's see. we got four headlands on here. That's probably enough for this field because it's pretty narrow. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go with that. And then we're going to go here and we're going to save the course to 19. And we're going to call this F19 Big M Spiral. All right. And then let's also, while we're at it, we'll do this field now too, and that way it's done. I mean, this field's almost small enough to where I could probably just done it myself. I'm going to do all those fields myself by the way. Uh, they're just too small to do a course play on. And I I tried to um, I tried to do a let's try three headlands with this one. I tried to mess around a little bit with the, the course play editor and it was just it was a real pain in the neck. So <laughs> uh, so it's going to be faster I think for me to just do the, all those little small fields as if they were all one field. Alright, let's go here and this is field 19. To, no, field 18. Uh, oh, wait a minute. What field is this? This is 19. Yeah, okay. So I... Oh, shoot. I put that in the wrong place. Okay, so let's go to... Let's go to 19. Save course. Activate. F19. Big M. Spiral. File already exists. Um, okay, so what we need to do is we need to move this. So change mode, move entry, activate. 18? How does that work? Uh-oh. Uh what did I do? Just delete 18? Oh, we, no, 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 no. We don't want to, we just moved the folder from field 18 into field 19. That is not what I want to do. <laughs> oh boy. How do I get that out of there? Move entry. Do I act? I don't know how that happened. What happened to it now? Now it's gone. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay. This is field 19. Let's just start over. Okay, save course. Activate. Field 19, big M. Spiral. Okay, so that's saved for field 19. Now let's go redo field 18. Get right in the corner here on the field. Clear that. Course. Four headlands. Or generate the course. Okay. Go here. Create. Recreate the field 18 folder. Since I somehow or another deleted it or did something with it. I don't know what I did with it. Did I move it into some, something else? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Okay. And then save course. And this is F18, big M. Spiral. There we go. Okay. I think the pot's right now. Um, Okay. So your field 18, big M spiral, start at the first waypoint and go to town. Okay. So we'll let him do his thing. We'll, we'll let him get around a couple of times, and then we'll get the baler started. And then I'll just, like I said, I'm just going to do all this manually because I don't think it's going to be worth the hassle to try and set up a bunch of little tiny course plays for these little dinky fields. If I ever buy these fields, which I might, um, I'm going to combine them all into one because this is ridiculous. <laughs> but I don't know. We'll see. 
I'm definitely planning on buying Field 71. I mean, that's... I've been wanting 71 pretty much almost since day one, so that's going to happen no matter what. But whether or not I buy these fields kind of remains to be seen. All right, so I'm going to just let the, uh, the big M get around a couple of times, and then we'll get the baler started. All right, let's go ahead and get the baler started now. Get him over here on the field. And we just want to load field 18. Field course, activate. And uh, first waypoint, and go for it. I think I had him too far in, so he's got to turn around, I'm guessing. Nice. Okay, so let's check on our cultivator. See how he's doing. Just about done. Nice. Okay. All right. The mower's just about done, so let's um, hop into him next. And I'm thinking I should be able to just... All right, that's probably it. Now, let's just get the little spots that he missed, and then I'm going to get started on the um, <clears throat> next field over. All right, so if we just basically go around in a loop this way, it should be enough for the baler to be able to pick it up. Especially with the V-Rake on. Alright, that takes care of that. Now let's get started on the rest of these fields over here. Our baler is blocked by one of the bales. And our cultivator should be done too. All right, let's send the mower back home. And then I'm going to start picking up these bales and getting them out of the way of the baler. I think we'll just leave the cultivator out on the field for now until later. We don't need to do anything with him right now. Okay, set destination. You go back and park in the driveway and I'll come get you later. Except for, nope, uh, you can't get there, huh? Okay. What if we just have you go here? We're going to stop unexpectedly. All right, let's get you over in the other lane here then. I'm not sure what your issue is. Try it from here. 
set destination right in the driveway there he goes or she as the case may be um you know what we might as well actually uh f get this taken care of <laughs> what's up with the the thingy there uh, actually, you know what? I'll come back to this because I, I want to make sure the baler keeps going and yeah We're getting bales in the way So let's get in the pickup trailer and start picking these bales up Okay, baler's done on this field, but I gotta do a little bit of cleanup work Tell you what, though, let's get him started on the other field while we're waiting here. Load field 19, load course, activate, first waypoint, go. All right, let's get the rest of these picked up. All right, let's finish this up real quick here. Shouldn't take too long. All right. That was an easy $12,000 minus whatever we uh, had to pay the worker. So let's turn that in. And we will send you back to the ranch. And why don't you just park yeah, right here for now. Okay, back to here. So bailing is done. Uh, automatic bailing is done anyway. So the rest of this is up to me. AI worker, uh, worker is not ready to drive what? What do you mean? What's going on? Was it because it wasn't folded all the way? Let's try it again. Set destination, just park right here. Are you good now? Nope. I don't know what the heck's going on. Uh, I'll just drive it back. It's not that far away. Uh, so anyway, yeah, I'm going to drive this back and then I'm going to go back up to the north fields, finish the rest of the bailing. And then uh, I will drop off whatever the contract requires. I think everything's going to the animal dealer, and then I'll show you what we end up with at the very end. So see you in a bit. All right, guys, we have finished the contracts and all the bales you see left on the field, in addition to what is already on the trailer, is ours. So we got a, close to a full trailer load here, I think, which is about $25,000. So we made... 35,000 uh, from just doing the contracts and then 25,000 when we uh, sell in January. So yeah, we made about 60 grand minus, you know, whatever it is we ended up paying the workers. I don't think I can get to that. So we're going to have to help it out a little bit here. There we go. Well, not too bad, actually. And, you know, it... Probably took me an hour, maybe, or so. I don't know exactly how long it took because I had to stop in the middle of it and go eat dinner. But I don't think it took really much more than an hour for me to do. So not too bad. For $60,000, it's worth it. So yeah, we'll probably keep doing the hay contracts. But like I said, I'm not necessarily going to do them every single time. But um, we're also not going to never do them again. At least, you know, until the time comes that we maybe just flat out buy these fields. I wouldn't buy just one of these fields. I'd buy every single one of them and then just combine them together into one large field.
All right, so it doesn't look like we're going to get quite a full trailer load, but almost. So probably more like 57,000 all told, I'd say. We'll take it. We will take it. All right, let's head back to the ranch and drop this off, and then not even sure exactly where we are on time. Um, but I, th I don't think there's really anything else to do in August, so I'm probably just going to um, go into September, and then we're going to have some things to sell in September and go from there. So... I think we probably have enough time to do that. So, yeah, uh, we'll go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera here, and then I'll see you on September 1st. And uh, we'll we'll see how we, you know, finished up in August before we wrap up this episode. All right, guys, it is September 1st, and there is in the sale a Mack truck, a Pinnacle 6x4. Um, since we always are leasing these, on our big sell days and we're going to need even more. I'm planning on running a minimum of three trucks when we um, do our, our sales in January and probably even more than that. I'm thinking about maybe buying this, but I guess the question is, do we really need two big trucks on the farm year round? We only kind of really need them when we're doing our big selling, and it just makes sense to lease them at that point. So, <coughs> I don't know. If I got it, I'd, I'd get the big engine, so that's going to actually bring it up to 87000 It's a really nice truck. <laughs> uh, but it, it's not a replacement for the man. The man is still the superior vehicle by virtue of the fact that the man has the, the PTO shaft, and this does not. Um, I, yeah, I don't think so. I don't think I'm, I'm going to do that. Um, it was a nice idea, but I just don't think, think that's going to work very well for us. Uh, also I decided I'm not going to purchase the big field eight and all that other stuff up there. It's just, it's going to run me completely out of money. I'm going to have to take a loan and then I have to go, uh, the canola that was on the other field has already been harvested because it's already past season and it's just going to be too much of a pain in the butt for you know, a, a not that big of a sugar beet field. So, so we're just going to purchase the sugar that we need for this coming year. And hopefully next year it'll work out to where we, um, you know, can get a field with sugar beets on it. So yeah, that's the plan. All right, let's take a look at the finances for August. And so let's see water costs. We made $47,934 or $937 on contracts, a uh, roughly 12,000 of that was from uh the cultivating so so yeah we made around thirty five thousand dollars ish uh we paid thirteen hundred and twenty six dollars to workers uh miscellaneous seven ninety two not not even sure where that came from to be honest with you where did that come from i don't know <laughs> i have no idea um delivery costs so yeah this is our 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 pallet distribution payment and our greenhouse has made us $103,782. Uh, we sold just a little bit of bales as I was delivering the end uh, of the contract there, $674. Bucks. Production cost, $844. Property maintenance, $1972. Vehicle leasing, $2362. Uh, this is for the ongoing leases that we have, which I believe is the roller and the big uh, subsoiler plow. We spent uh, $2,800 on vehicle repairs, and we purchased that sprayer for $31,695. We are currently sitting at $522,303. And, um, yeah, so not bad. So we uh, we need to wrap up this episode, but just to show you what's coming up in the next episode, we are, we are going to have some things to sell in September. Uh, so let's look at that really quick. We are going to be selling, uh, bring that back. 
going to sell, what are we going to sell in September? We could sell milk, flour, bread, cake, butter, cheese. Maybe we're not going to sell anything in September. I thought we were going to have something to sell in September, but it doesn't look like we will, according to the way these prices currently are. Um, so the butter and the cheese, that's December. The cake is December. Well, actually, cake's January. Bread's December. Flour's December. Milk. Eggs. Eggs is October, or, or actually maybe even November for that. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. We're not selling any of our crops. Okay, so never mind. I guess we're not, <laughs> not going to sell anything in September. Um, we don't September October. Oh yeah, we have our we have our third hay cutting, so we're gonna do that. Yeah, we'll have our third hay cutting, and I'm gonna probably purchase. Well, do we have room in those silos? Let's take a look real quick. Um. Oh, I also need to uh, get seeds in these greenhouses too. They, uh, yeah, that, that's like gotta be priority number one. Um, I've got the seeds. I just got to get them in there. So let's see. Yeah, this is done too. All right. So you know what we have, we have the full capacity of both of our silos, our current fermenting silos, and we can, um, we can load those up and we should be able to, we should have enough room to get this third hay cutting in both of them. But we're going to have to move the silage out of them if we're going to use them. And, boy, I don't know if I want to do that. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think we're going to go ahead and purchase the first of what will probably be many of the silage factories, these guys. Um, And something about this I just want to tell you guys that I did is that I went into the XML file and I, I lined the... The price in storage of this silo up to to match more with the other silos. So this was selling for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars for one point two million liters, and that's more expensive with less space than the other fermenting silos. If we look at um, these silos here, so. The hundred thousand dollar silo has 600, 660 thousand liters in it for a hundred thousand dollars. The concrete stave silo that we currently have for a hundred thousand dollars holds five hundred sixty thousand liters. And so what I did was I changed this to basically be five hundred thousand liters per hundred thousand dollars and so I changed the price to three hundred thousand dollars and I changed the storage to 1.5 million uh, to line that up with the other ones because I, I didn't think that you know it's it wasn't competitive with the other ones uh, but I like these buildings more than those other ones and I especially like you know the fact that it's got two separate you know drive-in spots for dumping off and loading I think that's gonna work better for you know auto drive and stuff and so, yeah, I made those changes, and um, that is why I made those changes. So we're going to probably purchase the first of many of these uh, in the next episode. I still haven't fully decided, though, where I'm going to put it. So that's something we'll have to figure out when that time comes. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the greenhouses filled back up with seed and uh, and water. And I don't, do we have to worry about manure yet? in them oh no we're we're in actually really good shape in manure we we might just be able to support all of these with our small cow barn um because i mean you know we're already into september and it's only half it's only half gone so yeah we might be able to actually handle that um fabric is probably being moved right through the store and right into the to the clothes yeah so i think we're okay on that uh, yeah, so anyway, that's it, guys. I am going to leave you here. 
And in the next episode, we'll do our third hay cut and get that new silo put in place. And that's probably all, all we'll have for September, but that'll be plenty. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.